I was gonna go there. Where's she gone? Oh. That witch! I won't give up in my chase. I'll make certain that she pays. Regine. Regine! You must leave this village! You must hide, Cecilia! You will need a new name! I will protect you! No matter what! Say farewell, Cecilia! You're now on, my dear! I made it up right now! No, no time to think about it! Mother, I finally found you. Ellen, I'm so sorry. When I fell pregnant with you, my life was not easy. Well, thanks for letting me know that. It doesn't matter. What was it like the day I was born? For one day, everything was radiant. A beautiful July sky. Rolling hills of lavender. I was so very happy. Mm. A new life. New hope. You comforted me so. I will never forget that day. So, uh, where have you been this whole time? I couldn't stay with you. But I swore to myself that I would always protect you. The fairy that watched over me was you. My own mother. Why didn't I realize it sooner? Why'd you ask for I'm my blood? Sorry. To put you through such an ordeal. No, not at all. And to have left you all alone. <coughs> Please, Mother, I was always happy. Even when I was killing I those to men! Think that, to think that I ruined your life. Ruined? Oh, quite opposite. I live to protect you, my dear Helen. Mother! Show me your face. Ah, uh, my face pretty much open as it gets. Let me take off my hat. Chapter seven. Yeah. Keep it short. I'm not no sentimentalist. I know. Did you say your goodbyes? Yes. She lived to protect you. She was at peace. I understand now. My safety meant more than anything to her. And my memories of the village were pleasant and warm. Her and I gazed often at the sea. Ellen, about that painting I found. It's a portrait of your mother. You look just like her. Apparently, my late father painted it himself. It really is a striking resemblance. I could hardly believe it myself. That, that, that. Must have meant a lot to you. Yes, you're right, Mia, that I was not alone. Oh, God, now I'm alone. Regine wrote that the letter that summoned you to the, the village. Once she entertained your whereabouts, she pretended to be your mother, and then tried to kill you. Huh? But your mother, she sensed what was going on. And then she must have killed Regine. Your mother, Ingrid, was protecting you. She always has been. Mother! Second and third murders, 
Those were committed by Suzette. Much like us, she was looking into the events of the past. Suzette was involved in it all. Both Dr. Lester and Harriet must have spilled some secret. The only way we'll get the truth is from Suzette's lips. At the hinge, the hag wasn't stabbing the doctor. She was trying to remove the knife. And as for the murderer 17 years ago, the one that has troubled you for so very long, I was wrought by a mother trying to save her little girl. Huh? But you were convinced your mother had abandoned you. So you banished her from your memory. Leaving only one harrowing, one harrowing, 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 leaving only one harrowing recollection in your mind. Out of the two who threatened you meeting their demise, every last person who knew what happened at that ch at the church is dead. None remain to tell the tale. I know you still intend to go to the Netherworld core. Okay, so we're still doing that. We're still in this story. Keats, I must go! My planet needs me! I need to know what I saw deep within the ruins! You're the only one that can see Beryl now. You're the only one that can see Beryl now, anyway. Don't worry, open the door. It won't take long. Very well, but watch yourself. You have a habit of letting your guard down. Thank you, Kate. Just in case I fail. Stop right there. You won't fail. Okay. Here it goes, then. Aye! <laughs> I play it really does need me. Uh... Don't worry, it's only a map painting. Oh. Look, I know white symbolism and all that, but I look terrible in it. I work best in darks! Mortal fool, how dare you release me? I've already decided. I want to know everything. Have a have a I won't give up. This is before or after Lord of the Rings. Ah, hey, Keats. Really, I failed. Keats! Opening in the hedge. Let's lean into the heart of the Netherworld. Lost memories and feelings pile and pool there. Sounds thrilling. So are we supposed to still be in like the corrupted place? Where are we right now? I I'm so lost. Yeah, I don't. I, mean, I don't care about you guys. I'm not talking to any of fairies or whatever you call them anymore. What do you got? You're elves. Here's a fair. I don't remember. I don't care. Entering. Entering. I think that looks nice here. That strange orange sky or weird purple. Well, that's a little purple, but I can live with it. Oh, that 
looks bad. Yep, it's bad. All right, let's go with this guy for a bit. Uh, where's my... Okay, that's my punchy punchy, and I got savvy savvy up top. Okay, let's go. Oh, jeez, what is that? I meant to press dodge. For some reason, I pressed a completely wrong thing. Why is there an orb? Why is there an orb? I don't like orb. Stop launching claws at me. All right. Oh, jeez, another one. And another one. Tell me, think of whiz robes. Okay, just they just drop those behind them as they run. It's amazing. Ow, frick! Okay, that doesn't work. Do you mind? I've tried to absorb people here. Okay, uh, I think those guys do I need to get anything. It doesn't matter, really. Netherworld core. Uh, a few more and five moose, curry, whatever. I, I don't know. Oh boy, or Ugh. So what are you things? You just look like those things from that, uh, what's that game called? Pikmin. You look like the things from Pikmin. Ah, I absorbed him just at the right time so he can punch me. Is anything hurting you right now? I don't think anything's hurting you right now. All right, destroy, destroy hurts him. Oh my God, just a giant robot. It's just fires lasers. I get the laser part of this. I love that I have the laser part of this whole thing. Stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. Oh my God, die. So where is Lippy right now? Is the Fairy Lord still working on all this thing? Is he supposed to be following me right now? I, I don't know. Maybe if I talk to those guys, I'd probably know more, but I, I neglect to talk to those things because I, I don't I don't care. At least not enough. Alright, why is this one green? What is green made? Okay. Guess it was technically blue then? I don't know. Ow! Ah, oh, you jerk. I absorbed you. I absorbed your friend, spiky friend over there. Just knocked himself out. What the heck? Yeah, where are you? There we are. Hi. 
I got no dodges. Oh good, more spawning in. Ugh. Where are you? There you are. Oh, hi. Wow, what? Jerk. I murdered it. It's dead now. Okay, so they could just slightly teleport. Whatever they feel like it, apparently. It's I who's behind you! <sighs> What's this shit again? Ow! Oh, okay. I gotta get that off in time. Stop doing that! Just die and jerk. Right, what am I doing? Do I step on this? So, okay. Yeah, apparently I do. I just step on that. The structure has come closer. The memories lie dormant inside it. Well, I'd love to just waltz right in, but something tells me it won't be that easy. What? Very hard. Greetings, Ellen. Not a soul has ventured here since Levine's Rebellion. But you need not enter the temple. It will be destroyed. It is no longer needed. The ties to the living must be severed. It should be restored! I apologize for misleading you and my fellow fairies. But there is no choice. Today, we say adieu to humans. Hey Lord, what do you mean? You heard the man. But what happens if this thing goes down? Any feeling of fear, grief, or spine will never be forgotten once experienced. The human spirit will last under the burden of such pain. The weak of spirit will die out of out over time. So this is what makes it possible for us to accept death, eh? Precisely. Without this, very few could ever cope with death. That could be a problem. Enough. You will... will you alone stand in the way. Oh well, I'm before a fast visit, Roach. I don't think this fellow's listening. And next time, Retro Guy Joe, Keats versus the Fairy Lord. Be right back.